It was a day of apologies and resignations for media mogul Rupert Murdoch, a normal day at the office, some might say. At his request, he met with the parents of Millie Dollar, who was murdered in 2002 and allegedly had her phone hacked by the News of the World. He has written an apology for the paper's serious wrongdoing, which will appear in advertisements in British newspapers. He spoke of his feelings after the private meeting. I was appalled to find out what had happened. I'm quiet and I apologise and I have nothing for this. And once the boss had said sorry, there was the first of two departures. Rebecca Brooks, chief executive of News International, quit, bowing to what was seen as public and political pressure. She had been the News of the World editor at the time of Millie Dollar's murder. Next, from New York, the top executive of Murdoch's Dow Jones company resigned. Les Hinton, the CEO, stepped down after 52 years at News Corp, in which time he'd overseen Murdoch's British newspapers. As the newspapers prepared to publish the formal apology, the company was also writing to its commercial partners. Evidence believe analysts that News Corp recognises there has to be a fresh approach. There was also a denial from Rupert Murdoch that he's poised to separate the newspaper holdings from the rest of the company.